Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Tech Services. This is Brian, and I have another cool video for you. On the request of one of our awesome customers, we're doing this video on how to scan a folder via SMB 1.0 on a Kyocera M3550 using a PC. Stay tuned. All right, so we're going to keep this video short and sweet. Let's get right to it. Make sure that you have a working Ethernet cable plugged into the machine and that the machine is networked. Then just go ahead and press Report, Report Print, and then Status Page. And this is going to print a status page that has our IP address on it. And it kind of allows us to know that the machine has been networked if it has a valid IP. So when you print the page, just look over on the left-hand side there and you'll see the IP address right on the top. Mine is 192.168.256. Now head on over to your PC and you're gonna create a folder. Just call it scans. You can call this whatever you'd like. So just create a folder, call it scans, right click it and go to properties. Under properties, you're gonna see there's a little tab that says sharing. Go ahead and click on that tab. And then the button that says share, click on that. Here in the drop down menu, you can select who you would like to share it with. I always select everyone, but you can select um, whatever one you'd like. And there we go. The folder is shared and we have our path. Next up, you're going to click advanced sharing and click the box that says share this folder. And then under the permissions tab, just allow on the left side full control. So just select all three and hit apply, apply, and then go ahead and close this box down. So the folder now is shared, so step one is complete. Next up, just go to the search function and type in the word turn, and you're gonna see this feature, turn windows features on or off. Go ahead and click on that. Let me bring this box over. Let me see if I can expand this so you can see it a little better. Let me just try to bring that over just a little bit. So you're just going to scroll down to where you see SMB. And you'll see 1.0 SMB 1.0 file sharing support. So just go ahead and click on that. Click the plus item and you'll click the two on the bottom that says SMB 1.0 client and server. Just click both of those and then hit OK. All right, after pressing OK, this is going to take a couple minutes. It'll say searching for required files. Then it will prompt you to reboot your computer. So just give it a little bit. It applied the changes, and then we need to restart. So go ahead and restart. And I'll be right back when that finishes. OK, step two is done. Now we're going to take the IP address that we got earlier from the MFP and just type that into a browser, any browser of your choice and just go ahead and hit enter and just give it a little bit and you will see this splash page pop up go ahead and enter the username and the password of the machine and press login alright now that we are logged in you're gonna to wanna to go over to where it says function settings and then scan to folder once again function settings scan to folder and then under SMB settings at the bottom you'll see FTP and then SMB at the bottom make sure it's on and the port number is 445 so that's the standard port number that we're going to be using you can change this if you wish now go to address book and machine address book at the top and hit the add button here you, at the very top you will have a name, so you can uh, call it scans if you would like, or any name you would like. And then you see the SMB section, FTP section, and then the fax section. We're only going to be worried about the SMB section. Now it's going to ask you for a host name. The host name is just your IP address. So if you just go to your command prompt, like here's the command prompt here, type in IP config this will give you your IP address. 
we're going to go ahead and take that IP address and put it right there in the host name. Now you're going to want to make sure also that that IP address doesn't change, but that's a video for another day. All right, now that we have the IP address, the port number is already in, 445. The path will be scans. And the login username and the password will be the username of your computer and the password to your computer. That we'll find by just selecting the start menu. You'll see your username pops up. And then the password will be the password to log in to your computer. So host name, port number, path, login name, and password. Now before we hit test, I'm going to want to lock these in by going to the bottom and clicking on submit. Okay, now that that's locked in, you can go ahead and click on the scans address again. Now we will go and click on test. This is a really cool feature for troubleshooting. If you have any errors, it'll tell you, but my connection says okay, then I know I am good to go. Now go ahead, take your document, throw it in up top or on the glass. Click on the send button address book and you'll see the scans folder there that we created click OK now that everything's in go ahead and hit the start button alright after you send just head right on over to your PC and you'll see the PDF flow right into the folder Let's go ahead and open this up, make sure it's correct. Okay, let me pull this file over from my other monitor, and there we go. There is our scans. Thank you everyone for watching. That was how to scan the folder via SMB 1.0 on a Kiosera.